Hi Hans, hi Heather. Um, it's a strange idea that you're going to be sitting here next week and me on your couch, but never mind. Um, I feel the urge to, to, to teach you a few things about our language, um, especially about pronunciation, because if you pronounce things wrongly, then I'm afraid they won't understand you. And the other way around, of course. Um, everything I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, um, I've written it in a document, so you can read it later. I will send it to you by email or Jan will. Um, um, it's about uh, vowels in the first place, and I will start with the A. You know A. Um, there are several ways of pronouncing the A, and A is not one. The A in Dutch you should pronounce as A, like in car. An example in Dutch is man, and the translation of man in English is man, of course. If you use a, you use it in a closed syllable, but if you use an open syllable, you should pronounce it as a, ah, like ja, and that means yes. Um, if you see double a, 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 then also you must pronounce it as a, ah, like in naam which means name. Next uh, vowel, it's the E in your case, but we say E, eh. like in fat. In Dutch we say vet. Um, and if you pronounce it as E, eh, it's in a closed, closed syllable. If you use it, if you pronounce it as A, e, as we do, like you say in D, then it's in it's in an open syllable. An example in Dutch, leven, which means life or live in your language. The third way to pronounce your E is like a, uh, like in the in your language. We have the same word, de. Um, when to say e, a or a, uh, it's a little bit difficult to explain so and I'm not going to sit here for two hours, you won't be interested anymore. The next one is what you call I and we say E, like is in your language, also is in our language. And then the following of course O, which you can pronounce in Dutch as O, like in lot as you say, a Dutch word vol, which means full in English. Also, instead of O, you could say O in an open syllable, like boter, which means butter. If you see double O, again, you should pronounce it as O, and for example, you could say groot, which means big. Ah, the ah, <laughs> like in duck. A uh, Dutch word in this case is kus, kiss. Um, if you see, uh, uh, again, but if it's an open syllable, you should pronounce it as U. And I never heard that in your language, but let me give you an example in, in, in Dutch. Buren, neighbors. If you see double U, like in muur, which means wall, double U, you must pronounce as U. Are you still there? It's my son Jan who's uh, <laughs> making a videotape. Or what is it? Disc. Hi Jan. Are you okay? Yes. Okay. Well. Um, so, and then also there is the Y. Um, we don't use it very frequently. Um, only, I think only in English words like sexy. It's also like sexy in Dutch. Or baby, we also have the same word in uh, in uh, Holland. So, um, and then we have some special vowels. You don't have them in uh, English, I think. Like O E, O, like in you. Dutch word moeder, English translation mother. Also O, and I don't think you can pro pronounce that, but because that's really not in your language O. It's U, I, if you write it, and let me give you an example, a very short word, it's U, this is U, onion, U. 
We also have O U, which you pronounce as ow, like in now in your language. In Dutch, for example, vrouw, which means woman. There's another one, A U, pronounce it exactly the same as ow, um, for example, as in now. An example is gauw, which means quickly. Also, we have I E, and you pronounce that as E, like in C, for example. In Dutch, we say Z with a Z, and it means C again. We also have E U, U, also not in your language, I'm afraid. Um, nose, that's my nose. Um, then it's the Y. J, A, like in my, although our I is slightly different, A. Um, main, which means my. Another A, pronouncing it exactly the same, but not as uh, I, J, but as E, I, A, like in my again. And also a very short word, look at this. Careful, Sandra. This is an A. Egg. So we have O. A. O. A. O. A. <laughs> well, so far about vowels. Um, the consonants, you pronounce them more or less the same as uh, 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 in Dutch as in English, but not always. And you have the strange accent, of course, that we don't have. Let's start with the B. B is the same as in both languages, although if you have B at the end of a, let of a word, you must pronounce it as P, not as B. So, web, the World Wide Web. You say web, we say web. Web. The same goes for D. The D at the end of a word, at the beginning, no problem, in the middle, no problem, but at the end of the word, you should pronounce it as T. So we have also in Dutch, as in English, the same word, bed. You say bed, we say bed. Difficult one for you. You hear it all the time, I think. It's the G. And we say, <laughs> like, <laughs> there's something in my throat. So you should use your throat. <laughs> um, like, goed, which means good. As you say, we say goed. There's another one, it's the CH, also pronounced as <laughs> so it's the same, the G or the CH, it's the same. Um, like school, we say, you say school, we say school. Then uh, J, don't say J, like in just, you should say, say Y, like in you. J, that means you, you. Um, L. The L as in your language, only we have slightly thinner L, like in the French language, but not completely like that. So it's not lecker, it's lecker, which means tasteful. And you should use that word all the time in a restaurant. Lecker, hmm. Are you the typical American R? You say it like that. Here in Dutch, you have two choices. Some people pronounce it like rrrr, others say it like rrrr. So pronouncing my name means Sandra, or Sandra, also possible. Heather, or Heather, you would say. Um, the W, you say, I don't know whether you realize, you say wuh, wuh, wuh. We only say wuh. So... For example, I want, if I want to say that, it is ik wil. Not ik will, but ik wil. Is that all? Yes, that's all. I really don't know whether you're going to do this training. I'm going to send the whole document to you. And so, um, a few words then, not on this, but you can read them in the dictionary. Like, hallo, goedemorgen. Of course, it's good morning. Goedemiddag. Goedenavond. Goedendag. Uh, welkom. 
in ons huis. You must understand. I think you do. Well, um, that's it so far. Thank you, Jan Junior. Bye bye, Heather and Hans. <laughs>